I'm Brian Dolliner. I'm the program director here at the Urbana-Champaign Independent Media Center. Here at the Independent Media Center, we believe that there are no people who have no voice. There are only those who have not been heard. So we try to provide different vehicles, different media for people to express their own voice, their own concerns. So we have addressed campaigns around mass incarceration, the new Jim Crow. We ran state bills, lowering the cost of phone calls for those people incarcerated and their families. And we had those people speak up for themselves, telling about the situation of talking to a loved one in prison and, uh, and, and how important that is for people. Um, so we do other campaigns uh, around immigration. We've supported recently immigration uh, the families that are being impacted by ICE. Um, we've been talking to families who had have loved ones picked up by immigration. We've been recording their stories um, in the current uh, political atmosphere of zero tolerance toward immigrants in our community. We've been trying to support undocumented families um, to get them lawyers, to get them to their court hearings, to bring them home from jail, bring them home back to their families. Um, so we believe this is critical work to be doing right now. We've had uh, recently an open scene, open mic, where we have local youth express themselves uh, during open mics. They're hosted by local poets that are well known, and they bring in uh, young black poets, they bring in women, they bring in queer folks, um, all to speak about the kind of concerns that they have in the community. And there's very few places where these kinds of spaces and dialogues are really happening in our community. Um, but we try to create them under one roof here. We bring together university professors and students with community folks so that they can have an exchange of knowledge, so that they can uh, share what they have to offer, so that they can make education really public and accessible here. So we've been doing this since 2000. Uh, we were formed by a small group of 15 people. They underwent a fundraising campaign of some $85,000 to purchase the old post office building here, which we bought in 2005. We occupy the whole building and we have a variety of different projects here. We have downstairs a bike project helping people make their bikes. We have a maker space where they help people make other things. We have a Books to Prisoners project that's provided 100,000 books to people incarcerated. We have a radio station, WRFU, Radio Free Urbana, 104.5. We have a newspaper, The Public Eye, that's all locally made and produced and distributed. We have a zine library here. We have an IMC gallery where we show art. We have an artist in residence program here where we support Sakani Reed, a, a young black woman artist in town. So we do all these things here in one space to try to create a community center that is reflective of the diversity and kind of vibrancy that exists here in Champaign-Urbana.